So in this video, we move on to looking at drawing pictures when we have two variables. And the, the primary tool you, uh, that you generate are either scatter diagrams or cross tabs. Cross tabs are tables. You can build a side-by-side uh, -side and stack bar chart from those. And then a scatter diagram is an XY chart in Excel. And I'm going to go to the uh, restaurant worksheet in Excel to look at uh, cross tabs. So the restaurant worksheet, what we have is we have uh, restaurants and they have been evaluated in terms of the quality. We're using a categorical, good or ordinal data, good, very good, and excellent. And then also the meal price. So I'm going to build a pivot table real quick. Put my cursor somewhere, insert, pivot table. I'm going to let it generate a new worksheet. I'm going to drop in my quality rating here, and I'm going to drop in meal price there. Now that's a little bit cumbersome because I don't have any groupings. These are every meal price that showed up. So anything in here showed up. Well, let's group this. So remember we did this in one of the previous videos. Over in my meal price, I'm going to right click. I'm going to go group. And let's group them by 10 from 10 to 48. There you go. That's nice and neat. Now that I've done this, so I've got meal prices between 10 and 19 bucks. So basically in the teens, the 20s, 30s, and the 40s. And now I'm going to drop in something down here that counts how many of these were in this price range. And I dropped in the quality rating because it's text. That way I get a count. That's all I can do. So this, there's a total of 300 restaurants in the original data set. There's a total of 300 restaurants. And when I drop in the quality rating, since the quality rating is text, what Excel can do is count. If I would drop in the meal price, that's okay, but you want to make sure that this is a, oh, because it's grouped, it is, it is going to count. So good, good. So there, there's the numbers we want. Now I'm going to, um, I would like to sort this, so I'm going to put the excellent at the bottom because the good is the is the lowest level, very good's in the middle, excellent is highest. So I want to put this at the bottom. So I'm going to right click, and there's a move. So I'm going to just click there. I'm going to and then hit a move, and move it um, to the end there. So now I have good, very good. So how I did that is I don't click on the whole row. I just click on one of the items. Hit move. Oops, sorry. Click on one of the items. So you're not getting the whole row. You're just getting that. Move, and then you can move it to wherever you want. Okay. So that's a cross tab. We have one variable, which is my quality. Another variable, my price. And this now gives me uh, the count of how many were in this. So look, generally what happens is that the expensive meals are excellent more often, and the less expensive meals are in the good. These numbers are higher. We don't have any goods that were expensive, and we don't have very, we have only a handful that made the excellent rating that were lower priced. Now we could draw, build a graph of this, and let's go ahead and use this side-by-side -side chart. So what we have is that we got the good, the very good, and excellent. So we've got the pricing uh, in this. I don't like that. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to switch out. I'm going to put my quality rating on this side and my meal price on this side. Yeah, I like that better. So my pricing is down at the bottom. And the, the different colors tell me if it's excellent, good. And again, I just have more excellence or a higher excellence when it's higher price and a higher of goods when it's lower priced. So that's that's generating a cross tab with a graph to that. You could also, if you wanted to, change that chart to a, a clustered. Now, what a cluster does, it totals these out. So when you look at the 10 to 19, which are these numbers, these 78, there's a total of 78. Well, the two is that little green you can just barely see, 
The 34 is the red, the 42 is the blue. And the next one has 118, where 14 of them is the green, 64 is the very good, and the 40 is the good. Then over on this one, we have a total of 28. We don't have any in the blue, so there's no blue. We've got six that are in the red, and the rest of 22 are in the green. So that's, that's another graph. Uh, and then I guess this one, I'm not a big fan of this, but if you wanted to have the 100%, so you get out of the raw numbers and you always show it as a percent. So every, every, every column has to well, equal 100%. So what you're getting this is out of 100%, this, this 2 out of 78 is what this number generates. So 2 divided by 78 is the green. This red is 34 out of 78. And the blue is 42 out of 78. So that's what you, that's the numbers you get there. Well, let's show you how to, exactly what those numbers are to get those. So like I, anytime I, if I, once I get a pivot table, I'm going to do some work to it. I'm going to grab it, copy it, and I'm going to, paste it as a static table now. I guess I should have grabbed my good, very good, and excellent. This is my total. So these are my, my totals, and I could certainly come up with a relative frequency. So I'm going to copy this entire column and go down, and this is going to be a relative frequency. So this is going to be equal to the individual cell divided by my overall total. And I'm going to have to lock that in. Copy this over. Whoops. This just did that. Yeah, this will work. So let me do that again. equal this divided by the overall total so it takes the individual cell and then I'm going to lock in or absolute reference my overall total bring it all the way over like this show it as a percent makes it easier to read so of every one of these 14 percent of all of my evaluations were restaurants that were between 10 and 19 bucks that were classified as good. So that's good information. That's good information. But I could also look at, if I just wanted to look just at this price range. So I'm gonna, again, I'm going to take this, this, and I'm going to copy over here. And now I'm going to take this number and do this, but I'm not going to divide by the overall. I'm going to divide just by my total, my row total. only hard code um, the column. So when I copy that down and I really don't need these. Let's show all these as a percent. So remember when we built the chart graph over here or the 100% this one. These numbers, this, since this is a 100% stack bar, the blue, which is the good, is 54%. That's in the 10 to 19. The very good, this is 44%, and this is 3%. And in the last one, the, the most expensive, there was zero blue, 21% of my uh, 28 were considered very good and 79% of my 28. So that's what you get when you get a 100% stack bar. Thanks.